Extensive work was carried out in both Britain and America to reduce the effects of this hazard on aircraft transparencies, thus improving the design and safety of crew enclosures. In the 1960s, trials were conducted at the RAE using the real thing. Five pound frozen chickens were purchased, thawed, and fired at aircraft windscreens with a specially devised bird gun. Afterwards, it was usually the lowly apprentices who got the unpleasant job of hosing down the mess this work created. To a fast-moving aircraft, the bird arrives like a cannonball. Other tests were done using a model bird in the shape of a ball. A dynamically correct gelatine oil emulsion of four pounds weight. Its launching container being made of lightweight foam plastic. The bird gun works by air pressure and fires such models at various research structures. Here is a slow motion sequence filmed at 20,000 frames per second of just such a model bird striking a research target. Watch as it comes from the left and the container disintegrates as the round leaves the gun. Bird strike tests were also conducted on engine inlet structures using the same method. Perhaps the most complicated question associated with the problem of bird strike is the issue of large deflections. The deflection is that amount of movement in the structure which results from the bird impact. In fighter canopies, deflections as large as nine inches have been measured. Design improvements have been made ensuring aircraft transparencies are more impact resistant thus avoiding many accidents and fatalities. Bird strike trials continue on a regular basis as new aircraft are developed, but apparently British scientists now use pheasants instead of chickens.